Alright folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate molarity. Uh, instead of using the equation uh, molarity, which is represented by big M, equals the number of moles of solute divided by number of liters of solution, I'm going to do it using uh, dimensional analysis or stoichiometry. Um, so let's get started. The question says, what is the molarity of a solution made by dissolving 1.461 grams of sodium chloride in a 250 milliliters of water? Now, we've got some problems here because we need moles. They gave us grams and we need liters and they gave us milliliters. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, set up just like this meaning where this says moles we're going to put our grams in its place and where this says liters we're going to stick our milliliters now so that gives us 1.461 grams of the NaCl and that's going to be over the uh, 250 point zero milliliters of water. Okay. Now, that's my solution. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert milliliters into liters. That's the easiest step first. Okay. So basically, I'm simply going to write milliliters up here because that's milliliters. So that should be milliliters. This would be liters. I know that there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So I've successfully now converted it to grams over liters. Now, notice that this is moles over liters. I've got it halfway converted. So I now need to convert grams into moles. And we've been doing that for quite some time now. So if you look, if this is grams, diagonally down here will be grams of this NaCl. Now, that means we need the molar mass down here, which is given to us in the problem. It's 58.443 grams in ACL. And since that's molar mass, up on top of this will be one mole of NaCl. Now, if you look, notice that grams of NaCl cancels with grams of NaCl, and you're left with moles of NaCl. So, uh, what we need to do next is punch this stuff into our calculator. Uh, we do that. That, is, that ends up being 1.461 times 1,000 divided by uh, 250 divided by 58.443. That gives us the following, 0. Uh, zero nine nine nine. See so that's one two three four nine. Uh, four eight six six eight. Now we only need four sig figs because there's four sig figs here and four sig figs here. These first two are not significant, but the nine, the nine, and the nine, and the nine are. Look to the right. That can't round it, so we're stuck with zero point zero. Nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Zero point zero nine nine nine. And if you look, that's moles over liters. Now that ends up being zero point zero nine 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 molarity of what? Well, it's NaCl, and that is our answer there. Alright guys, I hope this helps understanding uh, molarity and how simple it is to calculate. Now remember, this is a uh, calculate molarity using stoichiometry, and that's the way I prefer to do it. So, just watch the video over and over, and it should help you. Alright.